I am Isis, my beloved children. Today we are going on a meditation journey and I would like Rosalie, my messenger, to voice this meditation for me as it is rather long but it has many healing benefits for you. So I will ask her now to start this meditation with you. We are in a powerful moment of transformation. Many of you are feeling this in your daily lives on earth. The following is given in the deepest love to support you on your path. At the core of all problems, disagreements, inner and outer disturbance, illnesses, confusion, feelings of lack, doubt, loneliness that are experienced as earth life have at their cause separation from God, disconnection from our source, our beloved creator. Therefore the first remedial action is to take in of any the, of these situations is to restore your deep and personal communion, your connection with God as you were created. There are many ways to do this. A quick and easy way is to use the breath. So quiet yourself for a moment and breathe consciously. Breathe in God, who is the source of our breath. Breathe out love, God's gift to all life. You will feel yourself becoming calm and light. You will feel your vibration shifting upward as you do this. And all within the scenario of the energy going through your heart and allow that scene also to continue its own way and its own transformations return again to the balcony with yourself present and higher self now invite and ask your higher self to assist you in reaching out deep into memory. Even if consciously you do not remember any details, reach out into your infancy, into your birth, and even beyond your birth into the womb. Regardless of the thoughts that may have been expressed about you and towards you in the very early stages of your infancy or even the stages within the womb and ask your higher self to once again the energy, let that loving energy well up within you, filling you to the very, very brim, until it begins to flow over even. And this time, instead of directing energies from the balcony, ask your higher self to magically transport you to those scenes so that in some form or another, tangibly or semi-tangibly, the loving energy that saturates and oversaturates your being and flows and is your being and you in that loving energy form can reach out to the very young child 
more intimate and embrace them with the energy. Caress them with the energy and even infuse them with the energy. Reaching deep into the body of the infant, into its mind, into your infant mind, even into the fetus in the womb, reaching its form, reaching your unborn form. Reaching deep, deep within the energy idea. Reaching deep, deep now, even into the energy idea before you add a form. And with great loving gentleness, tenderness and intent, you illuminate saturate, infuse the being that you are with deep heartfelt energy, assisting the infant or the unborn child in understanding that there may be times when there is a tendency to interpret life and living as something to be afraid of something that may hurt but beneath those interpretations there is something greater still than all of those fears all of the worries and concerns and that is a deep rooted loving energy that stems from the universe itself Surround the infant or the unborn you with light and loving energy as best as you can share it from the depth of your heart. Invite the infant, born or unborn, to view life from a greater perspective, from a deep loving position. And allow the warmth of that loving exchange to soothe any thoughts the child born or unborn may have. And invite the child born or unborn to envision with you a bright, loving, adventurous life. From your position, imagine or pretend with the child, born or unborn, how this perspective makes life a completely different adventure. That though it may still have challenges, there are many loving tools and resources and a loving attitude to support it. And as that child grows into its future, its life is continuously transformed so that the transformation reaches even you today in this here and now and a deep loving connection is established, enhancing a feeling of security, of safety of strength, knowing that from now, from now on, you have the ability to connect with other aspects of your life in such a manner that surely your tomorrows are just as filled with safety, with love, with strength, and that life becomes the wonderful, loving playground that is meant to be. And gently now, take leave of the idea of the born or unborn child. 
ask your essence or higher self now to take you back back towards the balcony and allow the scenes to go into love to be supported in love and now thank your higher self for its assistance its loving support and head back now towards the bottom of the first small staircase and we will begin going up that small staircase five four three two one heading towards once again that safe secure place at the bottom of that larger staircase bringing with you deeply embedded into you the experiences you have lived feeling good about yourselves in every way possible feeling refreshed loved and secure now with your hand on the handrail we begin to go back to the top of that staircase ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one now with your hand on the handrail we begin down the stairs one two deeper still three and four and just pause a moment on the fourth step and just sense for your witness or observer self that part of you that watches you that looks at your experience of reality and comments upon it. Invite that part of yourself to come join you down the stairs, to be with you by your side, down each step with you. Very good, very nice. Now continue. Five, six, deeper yet, seven, eight, very deep, now, nine and ten. At the bottom of the stairs, very safe and very secure, listening to the sound of our voice feeling good about yourself in every way and from that nice safe and secure place we invite you to follow us down another short flight of stairs at the bottom of this short flight of stairs there is a beautiful balcony it can be a balcony you've always wanted to be on whether it's like a grand old opera house or a Spanish villa or a castle or whatever you can think of but let us go down this short flight of stairs from one to five now one two three, four, five. Very nice and deeply relaxed, more so than before, more so than ever before. And feel free now 
to step onto this balcony and we invite you to look at a series of events that pertain to your life that you can watch from the balcony as if you are watching perhaps days each particular depicting various times in your life and know that from your balcony you can even invite whatever it is that you determine is your essence, your greater self, your oversoul to be by your side on the balcony and even I, Isis, who are always at your side. And with your presence of your essence by your side, allow one scene from your life that may have held for you some emotional pain or challenge of some kind and observe the goings on in this scene. Now then, if you would be so kind as to oblige us for this next practice. Now all you need to do is sit comfortably, legs comfortable, feet on the ground as best as possible, your back supported. And as many of you are familiar with this process, begin a series of very nice, gentle, deep and relaxing breaths. Inhaling deeply and with every exhalation, feel yourselves, allow yourselves to relax deeper and deeper. Whether your eyes are closed or open, allow your shoulders to relax so as all tension to simply relax like rain falling off a roof. All tensions running off your back and shoulders. Your deep breathing relaxing you more and more. Deeper and deeper still. And allow the gentle sensation of relaxation to spread throughout the entire body. From the backs and the shoulders to the chest down the arms, all the way, down the very fingertips, and all the way down the body, to the lower back and abdomen, all the way down, all tensions just running off your body, like so much rain off a roof, all the way down the legs, down towards the knees, the calves, down to the shins, the ankles, over and under the feet, all the way to the toes, all tension just dripping away, leaving you so that the relaxation can be deeper and more profound than you ever allowed it to be and whilst you are relaxing deeper and deeper and paying attention to the sound of our voice so that you hear all the words notice pay attention to this gentle rhythmic beating of your heart and as you pay attention to the rhythmic beating of your heart we will count from 1 to 10 and each number from 1 to 10 representing a step on stairs and once we reach 10 you will find yourself in a very safe, secure place and again be yourselves in every which way and in a moment we will count to 3 and at 3 you can open your eyes fully and completely awake and focus into the room that you're in. Three. 
Allow all the sensations to return to the body as normal. Two, you may wriggle your fingers and toes. Take a deep breath now and one. Open your eyes fully awake and conscious, aware into the room and know that any time you can simply give yourselves that loving and securing feeling regardless of situations. You can even do so at least once a day in any way you see fit. And now we leave you for a nice little break to enjoy in silence, beautiful silence just to absorb everything that you may have It is important to remember that this kind of practice can be utilised when you sense the need for it and it is well within your own capacity to tap into the greater reservoir of unlimited love for any situation you deem important enough and the very fact that you are is important enough. We are convinced that it is impossible to remind you sufficiently of this, that the very fact that you are is important enough. Do you understand? I hear, yes, good. <laughs> Thus, whatever scenario you have created that may entice you to interpret life as sometimes fearful, frightening, painful or otherwise, we urge you then to reconsider 
the thoughts and the beliefs you are about to instill into life and consider instead there are alternatives, other ways to interpret and view your experience that you may not yet considered in doing so. You are likely to instill a new behaviour, which means that you would be suspending the old behaviour. Stop the behaviour and you begin to change the reality. And the more you do this, the easier it becomes for you. To quickly realise within the context of your human experience that life truly is what you make of it. That you are not fated or destined to behave in a specific manner or to respond or react in a specific way because you have a choice. We have mentioned this many times and we are likely to mention it many, many times more. That you have a choice. Your behaviour is not solely determined by the beliefs that you hold but by your choice in holding onto a specific belief or sets of beliefs. So this changes the equation, does it not? Yes. <laughs> so if you choose then to act differently about anything, imagine how you could choose to behave mentally, psychologically, yeah, physiologically, physically, in a manner that brings you direct fulfilment where you can live life to the fullest instead of by default. Does this make sense to you? Yes, I hear. Then from this day, choose wise, choose love as I choose to love you all and to be at peace. I choose to be at your service always. With love, I am Isis and I thank you for being here tonight with, with us here. I thank Rosalie for doing the words for me tonight and I hope you have enjoyed the meditation today tonight <laughs> whatever it is on the globe thank you namaste